Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Alloway, psychologist and author of these wonderful children's book series, Special Educational Needs Superpowers. Today, I would like to read to you about Sammy and the Map Challenge. You can follow along doing these fun activities that Quarter Classroom provides. Don't forget to follow and see Sammy's journey on this adventure. Let's get started. Let's find out what Sammy gets up to. It was the first day of scout camp. Sammy and his friends were so excited, they raced around the campsite. This is going to be the best scout camp ever, Sammy cheered. Red group, your mission is a flag hunt, said scout leader Jess. Follow the map to find your team flag and bring it back to camp before dark. Sammy, you can be the navigator, said scout leader Matt, handing him a map. Sammy felt a lump in his throat. He slowly unfolded the big map. The words just danced around the paper. Sammy felt sick at the thought of trying to have to navigate. Could I have a different job? He whispered, but no one heard. They were too busy getting ready. Poor Sammy. The words on the map were all jumbled up. Nadia snickered. Sammy's holding the map upside down, she said. I think we have to go up the path, Sammy stammered. Daisy peered over his shoulder at the map. Mm, wrong, she said. We have to go down the path. The scouts headed off down the path towards their team flag. Dawdling at the back, Sammy spotted an old well. Sammy felt sure there was a troll hiding at the bottom of the well, so he hurried on. Let's go north, said Sammy. I think we're lost, said Tim, as he sat in something squishy. Determined to navigate, Sammy led everyone towards the gate and into a field. <gasps> Snort! A bull suddenly thundered towards them. I don't think this is north, yelled Daisy. Run! Daisy took over as navigator and led them back to the path. Sammy noticed a bright red bird chirping in its nest. He tried to whistle the tune. If we turn left here, the path should lead towards the flag, said Daisy. Sammy didn't hear her. He was too busy looking at some mossy rocks, and next to the rocks was some bright red spotted toadstools. Sammy blinked quickly, click, click, just like a camera. The pictures were now saved in his memory. The path led to a bridge. Can anyone see the flag? It should be right here, said Dylan. I can't see it, whined Tim. It must be here somewhere, Daisy said. Sammy wasn't listening. He was following a trail of ants he had spotted on the bridge. When he looked up, he saw the flag peeking out from behind a bush. He grabbed the flag. Woohoo! Tim cheered. Sammy found the flag. Suddenly, a gust of wind whipped the map out of Dylan's hand and into the river. Now how will we find our way? wailed Dylan. We're lost. Sammy's heart was doing somersaults. He forgot about up and down. He forgot about left and right and north and south. He just thought about all the places he saved in his memory. Follow me, said Sammy. I'll show you the way. Past the mossy rocks and the red spotted toadstools, around the tree with the chirping bird, past the bull in the field. Shh, we don't want to wake him. Past the old well. As they passed the bush, there was a loud rustling sound. What's Squealed Dylan, grabbing Sammy's arm. A squirrel jumped out in front of them. Don't be scared, said Sammy. We're nearly back. Then out of the corner of his eye, Sammy saw something red among the bushes. Over here, he said. It's the campsite sign. Sammy, you did it, yelled Daisy. We made it, Nadia shouted. We're safe. How did you navigate without a map? asked Tim, 
and all the scouts looked at Sammy. Sammy smiled. I saved all the places in my memory. Hooray, cheered the scouts. Who needs a map when we have Sammy? Don't forget to read the final few pages with your mom and dad, and you can learn how to have a superpower just like Sammy. I'd love to hear about your memory superpower. Feel free to tag me, Dr. Tracy Alloway, hashtag Quarter Classroom. Thanks for listening.